the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues. And you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. The Gospel of the Lord. Mulang Adlaw o Merry Christmas, Karatong Tanan. It is so interesting to note that there is a sudden, like what we call shift of the, what we call only the colors, but red is also a Christmas color anyway. But the feast of St. Stephen, which is right at after, very, very much after the day of Christmas within the octave, which is an extension of such a great uh, festival, a great solemnity, is an interesting note precisely because there is what we call a two-sided perceive of what we call nativity. If we know nativity as a birth into life, this celebration that we have today is a nativity, a birth into the eternal life, which is represented by Stephen the martyr. And being a martyr is what the Lord was actually always telling his disciples and to all of us, that martyrs are witnesses to the faith, not only in the, in the words that they say, but also in the lives that they have lived. And this is a very interesting to, uh, to take into account when Jesus said in today's gospel reading, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. Okay, what we are to say, what you are to say means the words, the preaching. But how are we going to speak? This is now where the life dimension comes in. Now, it is not a matter of saying how you speak like a good orator does, like a good speaker does. No, but it's the howness of the things that we are to say is actually manifested in the actions, in the deeds that we are trying to live. Precisely because we do believe that actions speak louder even than words. And this is what the martyrdom of St. Stephen also represents. Today we celebrate the first martyr whose death is none other than his nativity to eternal life. Just as the Son of God came to earth and was born among us, his birth means something that there is so much even more than our natural birth. Because his coming into our world, the meaning of Christmas is really paving the way to another birth that all of us have to be born, and that is the eternal life. However, we have to go through the, the motions and the journey, because our faith as a journey will lead us into that very direction, to be born for the eternal life or into eternal life. And so as we continue with this Eucharistic celebration, in mind the, the Christmassy things that we celebrate, giving gifts and everything, greeting, greeting people, greeting friends, greeting loved ones, let's also take into account something beyond what this beautiful celebration has for us. And that is what the octave means. It's an extension. And that extension is basically what St. Stephen, whose name, by the way, in Greek means crown. 
the crowning glory of all of us. Amen.